Hello, and welcome to another EAFC 24 Premier League match simulation. This time, it's Manchester City at home to Everton. Uh, two teams with very differing fates this season. Uh, Manchester City currently sitting second, two points behind Liverpool who are top with a game in hand. So this is completely in City's hands uh, as to whether or not they win the league at this point. Uh, Everton, however, are in the relegation zone by one point. They only need a point here to theoretically climb above Luton. Um, but obviously Luton still have to play this weekend as well. Uh, oh, look at this. Good attack by Everton to start with. But no, Manchester City dispossess. Um, but that is after they were deducted 10 points, which is still up for debate. If, uh, if they get that overturned, they would be up in 12th. So quite the uh, change in fortunes, but still nothing spectacular. Anyway, City oh, will want a win here to keep the league in their hands. Like it is currently their decision whether or not they win the Premier League. If they win all their matches, they win the Premier League. Simple as. Although I do believe the same can be said for Liverpool because Liverpool and City still have to play. Anyway, corner to City, taking shot to Silver. Silver comes into the penalty area, fairly unopposed, plays it back, and a shot from the edge of the area, comfortably saved by Pickford. First sign of intent. Our first signs of intent have come from Manchester City. The long distribution fails, and uh, City back on the attack again. Doku to Haaland to Alvarez. Oh, tried to thread it back through to Haaland, but the, the communication wasn't quite there, I think, between the two just then. And uh, Everton come away with the ball with McNeil. <laughs> Baited that, Branthwaite. Back to McNeil, back to Branthwaite. City really pressing here. And it's paid off for them. Here's Foden to Haaland. Oh, takes the long shot. He had a couple of options there for passes. I think Doku had run offside, yeah, by the time the shot was taken. So the fact that it deflected through to him, the offside still counts, yeah. But Haaland had a couple of passing, really good passing options there. He had Doku before he ran offside. I think it was might have been Foden on the overlap he had as well. City not quite firing on all cylinders yet, but still very much in charge of this match at the moment. Pickford to take the free kick. Long distribution, and again, it's not good enough. City back in possession and back on the attack. Here's Haaland. Haaland seeming reluctant to pass the ball at the moment. Oh, passes it to, I think that was Silva who got the shot off. It might have been Alvarez, actually. Can't be happy with what he's seen so far in this match. Barely a sniff of an attempt from Everton. Ah, the long distribution, third time's the charm, and now Everton with an attacking opportunity, but it's been quashed very quickly by Manchester City. Played through to Haaland, who did stay on side. Oh, he's been dispossessed, though. And now Everton going to try and come at City, and suddenly Calvert-Lewin is through on goal out of nowhere. And he slotted it home. Wow. Manchester City have dominated this first half, but Everton have scored first. And that's all that really matters is who scores the most goals in a football match at the end of the day. Because he just unleashed through the City defence with a very simple but very effective through ball. Look at that. He just stroked it into the bottom corner of the net. The bare minimum strength needed to beat the keeper just made sure it got past him. 1-0 to Everton. Wow. Who'd have thunk it? Now City kick off. <laughs> the, the, the announcer of the goal doesn't sound too thrilled for some reason. So can City uh, keep their momentum going? But now they need to score two goals to, to win this match. But so far, they've not looked the most deadly they've ever looked, let's be honest. Alvarez to Silva. Nice turn by Silva. I think he had a chance to get a shot away, but he pulls it back to Alvarez, whose shot gets closed down by the defender. And a good tackle there. Ball goes out of play for an Everton throw. Taken quickly. 
to McNeil, back to Onana, inside to Dekure, Michaelenko, Gaye, I still don't know how to say his name, someone let me know in the comments, <laughs> spell it phonetically for me, Silva comes away with the ball to Haaland, oh, broken down there, Everton got a bit more of a, uh, bit of a pep in their step, as it were, sorry Guardiola, <laughs> But uh, since scoring that goal, and they go into half time 1 0 up. Really against the runner play for the majority of the first half as well. But, like I said, that doesn't matter. There's no column on the Premier League table for possession or total shots on goal. It's goal scored, goals against, goals difference, points, and wins, draws, and losses. That's all that matters. So, second half kicks off with Manchester City kicking off for the second time, which I'm sure they're not pleased about. I don't think they would have anticipated the kicking off twice in this match, if they're being perfectly honest. And now City attacking right to left. Big opening on the left there, if uh, they can find it, but they, they, they don't. Alvarez and Rodri rather play to me to you. Now they play Chuckle Brothers, and now finally Foden has been found, but in a much less dangerous position. Rodri to Foden again. Silva... I mean, they, they're playing keep away very well, but they're not the team that's 1-0 up. They need to score, and score twice. And dispossessed. Everton were very patient there. Just let City play in front of them, and then as soon as they tried to uh, push through... No, sir. Harrison fed the ball over the top. Ooh, sketchy tackle there by Diaz. Right on the edge of the penalty area. Now, was he the last man? No, says the referee. Yellow card for that tackle. Some Everton players, Decore especially, hinting maybe that was a goal-scoring opportunity. Phil Foden to come off. Jack Grealish to come on. Meanwhile for Everton, Onana off. And James Garner coming on. So substitution from both teams. Good position for the free kick here for Everton though. McNeil, oh good save, oh but it's rebounded, and it's 2-0, was that onside, wow, okay, 2-0 to Everton, definitely not many people would have anticipated this, knocked onto the post there, great save honestly, but the, the Everton striker Garner, with the uh, quick reflexes, and just slots it past Edison, who wasn't able to recover in time. Oh, it's it's that guy whose name I can't say. Okay, well, he's got Garner on the back of his shirt, so I'm going to go with Garner. <laughs> but yeah, City 2-0 down now, and this one's looking like it's out of their reach. Everton doing Liverpool the massive favour, which obviously isn't why they're doing it, but... My God, I'm sure there's every silver lining has a cloud and Everton will be thrilled to be winning at Manchester City. Like, massive win for them. But you're also hoping Liverpool. <laughs> must feel bad. <laughs> Akanji for City. There's still time for City to get back into this, but they've got to do something now, basically. Rodri. To Diaz. Gave away the free kick that led to that goal. Rodri to Silva. Back to... Oh, misplaced pass back to Rodri. And now Everton have the ball again. Oh, but Jack Grealish gets the ball back for City. And here we go again. Silva. Haaland back to Silva. Back to Rodri. To Silva. Everton standing firm. But they found Haaland. They've poked it through. But good save by Pickford there. Manchester City with a 95% passing accuracy as uh, Doku comes off and Kovacic comes on. Meanwhile, McNeil comes off for Everton and Dan Juma comes on. But uh, yeah, 95% passing accuracy. But again, none of these stats matter. It's just goals scored, goals conceded. And then points based on those, those stats. Oh, good play by Silva. Look at this, dancing around the Everton defence. Alvarez, oh, it's been charged down. Silva keeps it in play. Pulls it back to Grealish, who scores. Okay, we're in for an interesting last 10 minutes. 2-1 now. And who'd have thought City would be 
trying to earn a draw from this match in the 80, when the 81st minute comes round. But that's the position we find ourselves in now. Jack Grealish, the substitute. Easy enough finish, but you had to be in the right place at the right time, and he was. Guardiola happy, but will want more, obviously. 2-1 loss is worth nothing to Manchester City. Oh, unnecessary tackle there, I feel. And I think this is just going to be a warning for Silva. Is that Silva? Yes, it is. But now this gives Everton a lot of agency. They've got possession. A City player isn't allowed within 10 yards of the ball until they take the free kick. And, yeah, Young is going to take it. And Everton just have to play keep away here. Of course, a lot of Everton players forward. Maybe they're thinking of trying to get that two-goal cushion back. Lofted forward. It's headed back out. Play back in. Play back out. Shake it all about. Here's Haaland. Pulls it back to Guardiola. To Rodri. Here's Grealish, the goal scorer for City. Alvarez. Back to Grealish. Oh, he just ran straight into the defender, to be perfectly honest. Made his job very easy. And now Harrison, steaming down that right wing. Lofts it to Calvert-Lewin. Back to Harrison. Inside to Decore. Everton not sitting on this 2-1 lead. They were looking for another goal. But this is it. This is over. Yep, there's the full-time whistle. What a victory for Everton which elevates them uh, up into 15th, at least until this afternoon's game, remaining games are played. So, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and this match. Um, don't forget to share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. Subscribe if you're new here. And uh, let me know in the comments how you think this match will go. Oh, sorry if that made a noise. Me hitting my microphone pop filter. Uh, let me know how you think this match will go in real life. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time.